Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today uh, we are just going to demonstrate uh, how can we uh, upload the third party or source system using uh, uh, a <clears throat> spreadsheet, right? So for that, we what we need to do, we have an option uh, within the uh, Oracle Cloud application so that we can uh, uh, configure or uh, using the FBDI, we can upload the uh, third party or you can say the sub system for the source system, right? So that we can uh, interface into the Oracle Cloud application. So for for this, we what we need to do, we need to go to setup and maintenance. And then select the application, uh, the offerings, which is uh, Fusion Accounting Hub. Then select the functional area, Accounting Transformation. And on the top, you will find this option, Create sub ledger Accounting Setup in Spreadsheet. What we are going to do, we are just configuring our uh, sub ledger application, which is uh, if, if the a client is not pro providing us or uh, providing the data for the in un uh, uh, you can say arranged format so we can what we can do we can just define one sub ledger application within oracle cloud application and then we can interface the data so what we are uh, doing we are just uh, configuring the bucket for that sub ledger application so what we need to do, we need to click on it and uh, one file would be, FBDI file would be downloaded here by clicking on this. After clicking on the task, so you will find the, the file, right? After downloading the file, uh, you will see the file format like this, right? <clears throat> After opening that file, the file name should be the XLA file, should be. And then uh, the, this is the instruction speech. There you will find all the instructions. How, how could we just, uh, uh, the system will work, right? Like source system, like information from about the transactions and transaction would be interfaced into the transaction information and, and the general will be created in the Oracle Cloud Accounting Hub, right? So uh, using the Excel template to register, we can register a type of transactions, catalog references, transaction informations. And after defining the root rules, accounting rules, we can uh, interface the journal or create the journal into the GL. So going to the next step where we have already uh, entered some values like the source system transaction uh, details, like this is the uh, first name of the uh, sub application. You are right. So you can enter maximum 15 uh, digit, uh, 15 letters over here for this uh, name and the short name is nothing. This is the table uh, table name, right? <clears throat> table name column. That's why we need to enter it in the uppercase, right? Without any space. Similarly, in the below tab, we what we need to do, we need to uh, provide the uh, event type name of the accounting rules. What are the events under the event class, uh, right? So, say for example, the personal loan is our uh, event class. At that at that time, uh, the transaction uh, type or event type we need to uh, create, right? So name again, uh, we can provide the like in our case, uh, in our example, loan origination, loan interest accrual and loan to late payment. So we are taking these three event type names and the same, similarly, the short name that indicates uh, for the accounting rules journals. Uh, okay, so it also the length of this string would be the 30 characters, right? For this, uh, uh, event types. Next, transaction information. So next uh, tab, let's move to the, that tab. Mm 
Taking some time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a low list of sources, right? What we are uh, populating here, these three first three, the list of sources default or uh, default would be here, <clears throat> right? And that would be defaulted automatically already uh, defined in the uh, spreadsheet, a BDI file, the first three transaction date, number and name, ledger name, transaction number, and we are uh, we are putting here loan type and loan amount as a transaction source. So this indicates like appears a drop down list of accounting rules. When we are defined, we are going to define in the further in our uh, following uh, videos. So it will show the uh, accounting rules. <clears throat> like like why we are defining the accounting rules, it will show in the drop down, right? The short name again, the used to column name of the database object and that holds information for creating accounting the type this is the data type the so similarly like the loan type is our text and the loan amount is a number and journal display journal display is nothing this is uh, would be used to display the source value for the journals on the reports and inquiries while we are running the reports or inquiries the journals so it would be uh, we can take this uh, to run the, as a parameter at that point of time so acceptable values uh, are yes or no, we can put over here. And then uh, we can put uh, select uh, uh, only for 10 values, right, here as a journal display. So uh, this is the transaction information. Next uh, tab would be the line information. So uh, moving to the next tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Here, uh, the uh, as a source, uh, list of sources, we have, uh, again, the defaulted, like already been populated by, uh, while we are downloading the file, a BDI file for uh, source system registration, or we can say sub ledger accounting application, registration in the Oracle Cloud application. So these three names would be populated automatically, system will provide you. So while we are downloading the file, transaction number, default amount, and default currency, these are the generic, and you can change it anytime, right? So this uh, this is a type of uh, like data type, and uh, <clears throat> we have added on the loan rate here for our own uh, application implementation. So chart of account value, that means indicate that the source can be used to derive the account. Acceptable values are yes or no, again, Assign source uh, sources only with the text type that derives chart of account values to derive a generic chart of account segment only. For say, for example, uh, uh, of any sources that are typically used to derive the general account, ledger account, then then account cost center or company values that for that reason, uh, we, we need to say as yes or no here. We need to put over here, right? After populating all these details, like list of sources for line information, list of sources for transaction information. Let me move back to source system, right? Go to that tab. What we need to do, we need to validate it, right? So it will uh, populate a, uh, pop up one message, which is uh, uh, successfully, otherwise you need to uh, rectify all the errors if you will be getting some errors. Then, you need to generate a zip file, right? So <clears throat> I have already generated the file. So what we need to do, and this is a file name, right? The zip file name, XLA source system setup number seven itself. So at the time of importing the sub ledger application into the Oracle Cloud application, we need to import this file by going the navigation like this. Let me move to the application. Again, let me show you the navigation again. Right. Again, the offering would be the Fusion Accounting Hub and Accounting Transaction, Transformation, sorry, uh, the functional area would be. And then go to again the Create Sub-Ledger Accounting as set up in spreadsheet. 
here we this is the same page where we have already been uh, downloaded that uh, Excel Web ADI. And now what we need to do, we need to uh, load the setup file. Choose the file from the location. Okay. So this is our file selected. What we need to do, what we have selected, we have, select, we have to select the zip file and click on upload. It is processing. <clears throat> System will uh, pop up one message. With the process ID. Let it be completed. Okay, here we have a, a message, information message, but which, which is a, the file name that we have selected at the time of uploading the file. The date, the zip file imported without any error. So this message should be there and you need to click on OK. And now what we can do, we can go back to our application, uh, the Fusion Accounting Hub and Accounting Transformation. And then we need to validate our application. So personal loan, that the application name we have defined. So go to the Manage Subledger application, select the application name, apply and then go. Now, put the name over here that we have personal loan. Here it is. So system successfully loaded the value or the subledger application. Save and close. Now system will redirect you to the next page of the subledger application page where we can find every detail that already been configured using the FBDI as shown in the uh, previously. Uh, now you can see the personal loan. This is a short name, the description source, general source would be this, like all the general source, like uh, manual accrual, adjustment, like in other uh, subledger application, like uh, payables, payments, right? And uh, uh, similarly, we have created our subledger application by using this name. So system created the journal source here. So here on the right side, calculate reporting currency amount. This is the option that we need to uh, automatically enable by the system. Here, event model. As we have defined one event model, event model what uh, look, looks like, uh, this is a personal loan. This is the name of uh, uh, event class. Underneath that, we have the three uh even types so what we need to do we need to just either look on that how it's been created so you can see this is a loan interest accrual the first one this is the event type why we are defining this event type because as uh, uh, already i have told you in the previous video uh like in other sublazer application uh, already been uh, embedded with the Oracle Cloud application like uh, AP, AR, fixed assets. So in those, uh, we have uh, defaulted uh, default event types like invoice creation, payments creation, assets creation, all are these uh, the uh, event types. So according to that, one uh, at the time of creation, creating the accounting system will uh, create the accounting on the basis of event types. So that's why we need to define these all the event type and uh, these all are under the same hierarchy of event class, which is a personal loan. So this is basically what exactly is this? This is the event model that we need to define at the time of uh, configuring our uh, FBDI file for XLA. Like not the XLA, that's the SLA subledger accounting setup. Right, so what I'm not going to do, I'm going to show you the other things. Uh, okay, one more thing, just left it out. Uh, let me show you. Mm, manage subledger application here. Okay, so event. Okay, this is a personal, which is a process category, and this is the event class. Okay, general information. 
all these steps, calculate counted amount, use transaction identifiers. Okay, I'll explain you while we are defining the rules, right? This is active accounting. Okay, event type for these all three we have. Okay, so see when close. Okay, so system already created some objects like uh, manage sublazer application transaction objects. So we need to select the scope of the class. No, scope is nothing, uh, sublazer application name. And then click on that to take the objects created by the system. So these two objects like uh, actually header and lines. So header and lines, so what we can Take a look on that primary. Okay. So system created these, right? Okay, done. All right, one more thing I need to, I want to show you on the same page, sublazer application transaction objects. <clears throat> Here view source account for the header line, uh, the view source assignment. So I need to just check, show you uh, the accounting event identifier, header, header, and all the lines, all the details you can find over here. So line number, all the defaulted, so transaction date, transaction number, right? So this is all the assignments, right? Similarly, uh, for the line level also, we can take a look on that. Here it is, the same one, right? So sources and their assignments. We use source assignments that at the level of header and line details, we can check and we will see in the following details or videos for the, all these stuffs, right? Done. So you can uh, check the sources or you can manage uh, sources like uh, you can create more sources if you want after uh, like uh, part of uh, your FBDI that we have mentioned over there, application ID, default amount, all these details we can, okay, event type, line number, loan amount, loan rate, loan type, all these we have defined, right? Some default, a part of some default. So this is the data type that we have entered at the time of populating the FBDI file. Save and close. So the rest of the attributes and uh, all the uh, accounting rule we will cover in the following videos. Keep watching my videos. Thanks for watching. If you have, you will have some questions so you can ask or uh, comment on my videos. I'll reply on that. Thank you so much. Have a great day.